In a previous video, I worked out the waist to height ratio of 100 females of both UK white and Chinese origin. I then use the if function to say if they are overweight or not. Now, I want to take a step further and say what percentage of women are overweight, particularly what percentage of white women are overweight and what percentage of Chinese women are overweight. Now, in a previous video, we've done something very simple, which is using the count function. So you can say, well, you know, given this category, how many are there? So we could use that again to just say yes or no, but that wouldn't tell us about the ethnicity. So we've got to use something a bit more interesting. We've got to use a pivot table. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to start by selecting all the data in my table and pulling all the way up there. This is getting absolutely everything, but we're not getting the top row in. It's purely just the data itself. Um, it's worth noting that we've got to have a unique code for each person. So scan code in this case is it. It goes everything from 1 to 100, just so that the Excel knows you don't have the same person twice in the table. So there we are. Click the pivot table. Um, that's our range is good. New worksheet. It just means we can have a new sheet at the bottom. If you want the pivot table to exist in an existing sheet, you'd click existing, but new is good for me. So click OK. And here we are. We're into our new table. And right now you're thinking it doesn't really answer anything. So we've got to do something a bit more. So in the top section here, we have all of our columns. So you see it's pulled everything through. And we're looking at ethnicity. So I'm going to pull that through into rows. Okay. And then I'm going to go right down to the bottom and choose overweight, yes or no. The next thing to do is we've got to say what the values. So we've got a table over here. So the rows are you no know, ethnicity, the columns are, you know, are you overweight? But we've got to do something more. So we take the scan code and pull that into values. As it is right now, um, it's just adding everything up. So the unique identifiers, numbers one, two, three, four, all the way up to 100. Now, adding them together with some does not mean anything. You know, we got over here 601 and 1961. It doesn't mean anything. So we've got to say, right, how many unique values do we have? So how many people? Go over to here in the values and click on the little I. And you should see a little um, box pop up. And this gives us all the things that we can work out. So I want count. So click OK. And straight away we have different things. So how many women, um, how many white women have are not overweight? It's 10. How many are overweight? It's 40. So quite a large um, bit of the population. And it's more even when you look at the Chinese population. So that's what we can do with pivot table. But it doesn't answer my question still. I want to work out the percentage of women who are overweight. Really easy to do. Just go to the side of the pivot table and type in our basic formula. So equals um, our number. Sorry, <laughs> it's that one. 40 divided by the total, which is 50. Okay. I'm going to give this overweight. Okay. Um, I then repeat that below. So equals that one, which is 21, divided by that one. I've done it again. Never mind. I'll just select all of this stuff. Equals that 29 one, divided by the 50. And there we are. So right now, it's not particularly good. I can just take these and drop down here. It gives us lots of things that we're used to. Percentage is actually just there. So We've got 80% of our sample are overweight if they're white, and 58% of the sample is overweight if they are Chinese. You don't need to run any stats to know there is a big difference between these two, and that's as simple as it is. You can use pivot tables to calculate all kinds of things, as we saw below. So if you had um, data which is you know, more numerical on scale, you can do averages, mean, product, counts, and deviations, lots of lovely things. But for now, that does the job.